All right, we are now going to go over some notes from lesson 1-4 on segments, rays, parallel lines, and planes. Um, just a lot of new vocabulary words here. None of them are too intense. The first one here is a segment, and there's also with the ray. A segment is basically a portion of a line. Now, a line is something that goes on forever. A portion of a line with two endpoints. So if you recall from 1-3, we had these lines that didn't stop. They went on forever. And we would call this line AB. Well, now we're going to have a segment, which is literally something that stops. So I can say MN. And we would denote this with M to N and then just a straight bar, no arrows. So this is called a segment. Um, it can be measured. You can take a ruler and actually measure it. Now, lines technically in the geometry world, lines go on forever, so you can't measure something that goes on forever. Now, one of the problems with segments, lines, the book after a while starts to just mention, they'll just call this a line, or they just might call this a segment, but technically a segment has two endpoints. Array is a portion of a line, um, not with two endpoints but with one endpoint. Now, endpoint means a point that ends. So there'd be a point that ends, and then the line goes on forever this way. This would be called a ray. Um, let's go Q, and then we're going to need a, another letter here, QR. Now, in the past, like this segment here, I can call this segment MN, or I can call it segment NM, and I just reverse the letters. With a ray, you always want to start with the endpoint. So in this case, it's Q, and then you go in the direction of R. And then I put a one arrow line above it. Okay? If you say R first to Q, that means this ray is going this direction in a different way. Opposite rays is one of the silliest um, definitions out there. It's basically two rays sharing the same endpoint. And really, this is a dumb definition here because we won't see it except for maybe this assignment here today. But you've got one ray, let's call this ray AB, and the other ray is this ray BC. You've got ray AB, you've got ray BC. These are opposite rays, and really they just form an, one continuous line. But technically, they're opposite rays. That's one of the rays, and that's the other ray. Okay, this next group of boxes here, there is intersecting lines, there are parallel lines, and there are skewed lines. So, intersecting lines, intersecting means they crisscross. Um, lines, well, I just want to say that intersect, but I'll say lines that cross. And simply, they just hit each other. And they will intersect at one point here. Parallel lines are lines that do not cross or do not intersect. And I'll draw this line here. And you don't want to hit it, so you're going to go the same exact direction and those would be parallel lines here. Now, one of the keys here, I'll call this line AB, and I'll call this XY. One of the symbols that you're going to see for parallel is going to be this. They're going to say AB, XY, and then they're going to use these two lines here. And this symbol here is basically saying the word parallel. Okay? There is no symbol for intersecting. They would just say line AB, line XY, just intersect. But that right there, if you didn't have the picture, that means parallel. Skewed lines. Now, you probably already know what intersecting and parallel were, but skewed lines are lines that do not intersect and are not parallel. So what the heck are skew lines? If they don't touch each other, so they don't intersect, so they don't touch each other, and they don't 
they're not considered parallel. Well, what is this? Now, this is in the three-dimensional world. So I'm going to first just draw kind of a basic box here. I'm going back like this, and then dash, dash, dash. I'm kind of giving a three-dimensional look to it. And skew lines are going to be in the parallel world. So one line could be this pink line here. And the other skewed line to that could be maybe this yellow one in the background. And technically, in the three-dimensional world, um, the pink and the yellow aren't hitting each other. They're not touching. That's skewed. They're not parallel, but they're kind of going off on different directions. They're not intersecting. And in a three-dimensional world, they are not touching. So you're going to see this in the 3D world. Okay, so some of the problems that you'll see today. Let's take a look see at 1A. Name a pair, of course that means two, of parallel planes. So here's a box here. You've got three choices. You really can, like a box of Kleenex, you can show, choose the top and the bottom are parallel. This rectangle on the right and the rectangle on the left are parallel. This rectangle in front or the rectangle in the back are parallel. So any of those three combinations will be fine. I'm just going to pick one. I'll go the top and the bottom. So I'm going to say plane, the top one is PSQR. PSQR is parallel to plane. Now again, that's the symbol for parallel. And the bottom one is TWVU. TWVU. Now those four letters could have been rearranged in different ways. But basically you're saying the top and then the bottom down here. Name a line that is parallel to that is parallel to line PQ. So let's highlight PQ and I'll highlight that in pink. PQ. Here's P, here's Q. Now if you're looking at the two, there isn't a line drawn, but remember, between any two points, you can draw a line. Whether the pitcher drew it or not, you can always draw a line between any two points. So what line would be parallel with that? Parallel means same direction, not hitting. Well, that would be this line down here, T, V. Those are heading the same direction, and they are not. Uh, they're parallel, and they're not skewed. Letter C. Name a line that is parallel to plane Q, R, U, V. So where's plane Q, U, R, V? Well, that's this one here to the right. Q, U, R, and V. So it's this one here to the right. So there's going to be more than one answer here. I'm going to kind of shade it. Remember, these planes can go on forever up and to the right. And you could choose a bunch of lines here. You could choose this one here, P to T. You could choose this one in the background, Q to I mean, S to W. Maybe you want P to S. Any of these guys will work. It's not going to hit this plane here on the right. I'm just going to pick P to T. But there is more than one answer for this particular one. Okay.